Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Welcome to Elimu TV, a station where you watch and learn. I am your tutor, Sarah Wamaida. So today I'm taking you through CRE from 1, lesson 20. Our topic is about the covenants. And our subtopic is the meaning of covenant. Welcome. So we start by our lesson objectives, our lesson goals. By the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to define covenants. Two, by the end of our lesson, the learner should be able to give examples of covenants in the Bible. The covenant, you have to see the meaning of a covenant. What's a covenant? A covenant is a solemn agreement between two persons or two groups of people. It's a solemn agreement. It is between two persons or two groups of people. We have two types of covenant. We have conditional covenant and unconditional covenant. Conditional covenants involve two equal parties. It's a covenant between two equal parties. Unconditional covenants involves two unequal parties. When you say the conditional covenants involve two equal parties like a man and a woman, or a man and a man, a woman and a woman, two equal parties. When you say unconditional covenant, which involves two unequal parties like a man and God. See the characteristic of a covenant. Covenant involves promises or oaths. For example, like marriage covenants, they are promises. Normally has a physical sign or symbol. For instance, in a wedding, the, sub, the, the sign is a ring. Like also a royalty, like the selling of land. The sign is a title deed. It, a characteristic of a covenant, it involves a witness or witnesses. For instance, if it's a wedding, there are witnesses who come to witness the wedding. A covenant is usually sealed. It is usually sealed. Also, another characteristic of a covenant, it involves a ceremony, or a ceremony is, a fo is performed to enforce it. A ceremony is performed to enforce it. There are obligations which the parties must adhere to and observe. There are obligations which the parties must adhere to and observe. There are consequences for breaking the covenant. There are also consequences for breaking the covenant. So those are characteristic of a covenant, any covenant. Then we look at the examples of covenants in the Bible. We have the Adamic covenant. We have Davidic covenant. We also have the Messianic covenant. We also have Noahic covenant and we have the Mosaic covenant. So those are examples of covenants in the Bible. Then we have examples of modern covenants. What are the examples of modern covenants? The covenants we have today. Examples is marriage. Marriage is a covenant between two people, two equal parties, a man and a woman. Then there is baptism. Baptism is also a modern covenant. We have loyalty, like all of loyalty, like selling of land. We have also circumcision. Those are examples of modern day covenant. So that's the end of our lesson. We have looked at the meaning of a covenant. We have looked at the characteristics of a covenant. We have looked at the examples of the covenant found in the Bible. And we have look also looked at the examples of modern covenant. So you have a, an activity, you answer the following question. Question one, define what a covenant is. Question two, give the coven components of a covenant. You give the components of a covenant. Question three, list four examples of covenants found in the Bible. You list four examples of covenants found in the Bible. So for our references, you can refer to Secondary Christian Religious Education Student Book 1. That is KLB that edition. Thank you for joining us for this and more. If maybe you have a question, 
an opinion. You may contact us through our SMS number, which is on the screen. You can find us also on YouTube, Elimu TV, on Facebook, on Elimu TV, and on Twitter at Elimu TV underscore KU. See you next time.